Well, DeepSeek, a Chinese AI startup founded in 2023, just dropped their open sourced reasoning model called DeepSeek R1. And guess what? They claim it's just as good or better than the big boys, that is OpenAI, Google, and Meta. But here's the kicker. They claim to have done it with less cash and less GPUs. Silicon Valley's finest are scrambling to explain why they had to spend billions of dollars for something that DeepSeek R1 has achieved with minimal resources as they claim. Okay, now let's talk about the reactions. Let's talk about NVDA, which lost $600 billion in one single day. But hey, they're being super gracious about that. They called DeepSeek's R1 as excellent AI advancement. Translation? We are terrified, but we'll pretend that we are not. Okay, here's what they have said. DeepSeek is an excellent AI advancement and a perfect example of test time scaling. Inference requires significant numbers of NVDA GPUs. So NVDA basically claims that what DeepSeek has done, it requires NVDA GPUs. So they are basically giving credit to themselves. But let's not forget, NVDA has been the backbone of AI development for years with their GPUs powering everything from OpenAI to Google's AI projects. They have invested billions in R&D and their latest H100 GPUs are supposed to be gold standards. Now DeepSeek comes along using fewer GPUs and still delivering the same performance? NVDA stock drop? Yeah, that's investors wondering whether their AI hardware monopoly is as unshakable as you might believe. Okay, next up, Sam Altman. He called the Deep Seek R1 impressive and he said it's legit invigorating to have a new competitor. Translates to, we're about to drop some fire models to distract everyone from Deep Seek. But let's be real, Sam. They stole your thunder. OpenAI's new agent, O, oh, operator, completely overshadowed OpenAI. Tough break, buddy. So Sam actually appreciated the low cost for DeepSeek. We'll obviously deliver much better models and also it's legit invigorating to have a new competitor. We'll pull up some releases. He added continuing that he looks forward to bringing new AGIs and beyond. You see OpenAI has been the poster child for AI innovation with billions poured into developing GPT and beyond. They've been the go-to for cutting edge AI. But now DeepSeek is proving that you don't need a hundred million supercomputer to lead. DeepSeek has put a question mark on the billions of dollars of investment OpenAI is seeking. Okay, now let's talk about Satya Nadella from Microsoft. So Nadella asserted that DeepSeek's success is good for the entire tech industry. Jevon's paradox strikes again, he wrote on LinkedIn. And he actually quoted Jevon's paradox of 160 year old theory to explain why DeepSeek's success is good for the industry. Translation, we are trying to sound smart, but in reality, we are panicking. He even said that we should take developments from China very, very seriously, apparently. No kidding, Satya. DeepSeek just made all your investment look like a heavy bloated film budget. Good luck investing $10 billion into Stargate project. Microsoft has been all in into AI, investing $10 billion into all of its products, from Bing to Azure. Their initiatives were supposed to be the future of their company. But now DeepSeek is showing that you can achieve similar results with a smaller price tag. Satya's Jivon's paradox reference? Well, that's a sweet way of saying we are spending too much, but we should not be spending so much. And then we have Jan Likun from Meta. He's saying that it's not about China surpassing the US, it's about open source models surpassing proprietary ones. Well, that translates to, we're not losing to China, we're losing to open source. Totally different, right Jan? Jan Bari, DeepSeek just used your open source tool to outsmart you. 
Well, that's like getting beaten in chess with your own pieces. Well, Meta has been a big proponent of open source AI with their projects like PyTorch and Lalama. But DeepSeek has proven that open source can be a double-edged sword. Meta's initiatives were supposed to keep them ahead of the curve, but it seems to be getting the opposite effect. But now they are being out-innovated by a startup using their own tools. Jan's right, open source is powerful, but maybe they should have seen this coming. But wait, it gets better. Elon Musk, the king of skepticism, is out there replying to posts with Lamo, no, when people talk about deep seek success. Elon, my dude, you've been the only one who's been warning about AI taking over the world. Now that a Chinese startup is doing that better and cheaper, you're gonna say Lamo, no? Come on, man, at least try to keep up. So Elon's ex-AI has been working on its own models with the goal of creating truth-seeking AI. But guess what? Deep Seek AI is already delivering comparable performance. Elon's skepticism? Well, that seems to be just his way of downplaying this achievement. The fact that Deep Seek is doing more with less. Maybe it's time for XAI to rethink its strategy, especially with OpenAI along with Microsoft and Google betting on Stargate, which, by the way, Elon Musk is heavily critical of despite being in the Trump administration. Okay, now let's talk about the real issue here. DeepSeek is a real big headache for Silicon Valley. These big tech companies have been throwing billions of dollars on AI development. And now they are having to explain to their investors that why they should continue investing in these big companies for them to spend these billions of dollars on a technology which a company has seems at least it seems to have cracked for a fraction and doing it better faster and cheaper it's like showing up in a race with a ferrari and get smoked up with tesla at fraction of the cost that's how the big tech companies are feeling in this ai race can the big tech companies from silicon valley keep up so this is degree signing off from this video from the macro story do like this video and subscribe to my channel i'll keep posting more videos stay tuned